Today we're going to learn about the pharmacology of chelating agents. To start with these. They are drugs which complex with metallic ion and form a ring structure within their molecule. So they are very useful in heavy metal poisonings. Examples of chelating agents are Dimercoprol Penicillamine Desferioxamine Let's dedicate 2-2 two, two minutes for each drug and study those in detail. First we'll start with dimercoprol. It is a viscous liquid. Now let's draw the structure of dimercoprol. So as you can see there are two SH groups. These SH groups are the ones who will react with the metals causing toxicity. Some of those metals are arsenic, mercury, gold, bismuth, nickel, antimony, and copper. The complex of two molecules of dimercoprol with one molecule of metal ion is more stable than one molecule of dimercoprol and one molecule of metal ion. So one is to one complex is more likely unstable. Therefore, it is desirable to maintain excess of dimercoprol in plasma to allow formation of two is to one complex. Also this dimercoprol undergoes oxidation in our body this further emphasizes this point where we need excess dimercoprol. This is a very very important point so do note it well. Uses of dimercoprol It is used in the poisoning of Bahans that is bismuth arsenic mercury gold nickel and antimony. It is also used as an adjuvant to EDTA in lead poisoning and to penicillamine in copper poisoning. And next up we have two important contraindications. Dimercoprol should never be used in iron and cadmium poisoning because dimercoprol iron complex and dimercoprol cadmium complex is very very toxic. So never ever make this blunder in your career. Few of the adverse effects of dimercoprol are Increase in BP Increase in heart rate Vomiting Sweating Cramps Headache Anxiety Burning sensation Inflammation of mucous membranes To avoid these side effects Antihistaminics are given 30 minutes before. This will reduce the intensity. Now let's talk about penicillamine. It is a degradation product of penicillin. It chelates. Copper. Mercury. Lead. And zinc. It has two isomers, D-isomer and L-isomer. D is of therapeutic use. And L is never used because it is toxic and causes optic neuritis. Pharmacokinetics. It is administered orally. Excreted through urine or feces. It is used in Wilson's disease. Copper and mercury poisoning. Lead poisoning. Cystinuria and cysteine stones. Scleroderma. Adverse effects are. Itching. Derm. Renal. Hematological. And collagen toxicities. Now to the last drug which will complete in two minutes as promised is desferioxamine. Let's imagine this is a ferioxamine molecule and this part of it contains Fe ions. Now if we remove this Fe ion, we will get desferioxamine. As we can all predict this desferioxamine is very hungry for iron molecules therefore it has very high affinity for Fe ions. This combination is non-toxic and excreted in urine. It is used in acute iron poisoning. Transfusion siderosis. 
Adverse effects are low BP, flushing, itching, urticaria, rashes, loose motion, dysuria, fever, muscle cramps, changes in lens and retina. So with this we'll wrap up this session and do subscribe for more content.